we're going to do our con daily number this is number six. six. Well, even though that's yesterday right. doesn't have five, that's because Friday wrap-ups are totally different than the rest of the time. Because it's kind of like a wrap-up for the weekend and kind of what happened during the week. Actually, yeah. wrap-up for the week and what we're looking forward to the weekend. I know. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But for today, we've got some things that are happening. Some of the main things that have happened in con. Should we go about the movies or some of the highlights? Okay, we're going to talk, first of all, Lawless, for instance. Um, uh, Lawless basically is with uh, uh, actually Shea, which is Shayla Booth, Tom Hardy, Gary Oldman, Mia Wolowski. Anybody watch the uh, Alice in Wonderland? That's Mia Wolowski. Mm -hmm. um, Jessica Sh Jessica Chantain, Chantain and Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce is all over the bloody place. He's been really busy working. Yeah, they said that it really did well yesterday. I mean, they said the critics basically loved it. Mm -hmm. um, what was it? They got the review. Uh, Lawless draws great performance from prohibition violence. There's a lot of violence because Thomas Hardy, they said he chewed up the scenery and took it, took it from everybody. You know, Thomas Hardy basically is a really educated, well-mannered Englishman. And people, he plays American parts, but he basically, this is Thomas Hardy. He's big brooding. He's big and brutish. And if anybody Bruce. saw, um, um, I think Band of Brothers on when they uh, when it was done, what was it, Tom, uh, Tom Hanks production mm -hmm. on C on, uh, on HBO, he was a trim guy with an Italian accent. Mm. He is a well mannered Englishman. He's got you know. So but when he, they, they, why they like him is because he is really, you know, he's into the character he's playing. I mean, he basically bulks up. To be a brute, he's anything but that. So when you do that, they said, basically, okay, remember last year they expected him and the other actor to get Academy Award nominations as Best Supporting Actor? Mm -hmm. They think this year, because he's got multiple good roles out, that he's going to be one of the uh, actors for Best Actor this year. Wow. So, but Yeah, um, and they were last year they were going for a nomination for Did he get the nomination? Or no, something? he didn't they get were, the They were trying to get him a nomination. They, uh, basically, uh, they think they, they gave it, uh, the nomination went to Nick Nolte, Nick Nolte. because they, Nick Nolte was owed a nomination. They figured Thomas Hardy's in his uh, 30s, so he's got a long career ahead of him. And basically, the problem is he plays the same character in every movie. So, I, you know, the brutish Hulk, you know, uh, it, it, it just, it, when you play the same character, it's like, he, okay, uh, Humphrey Bogart varied. Uh, Edward G. Roberts varied, varied characters. Jimmy Cagney varied their characters. Sometimes they did comedy and stuff. This guy does nothing but mean, violent monsters. Mm -hmm. So, but, um, hey, what's, um, what, what's going on today? Okay, on this, this on this side, okay, we have, um, I have Sean Penn's Rants open up wallets from, <laughs> for Haiti. So we had three people paying $100,000 to a company uh, Sean Penn to Haiti. Now, of course, this was at a black tie um, gala dinner for the Carnival and Cons where people paid up to $100,000 a table um, just to be there. Yeah. So. Well, they know that only three did. No, that three, 100000 each to go. No, but I know, but that, but, um, that, that there was three that paid a hundred. That was what the going price was. They only found three people mm -hmm. that were willing to pay that kind of money, which means they're. They felt guilty, so. They felt guilty. But his guilty rant didn't do, didn't wasn't guilty rant enough, so. Yeah, so does that mean next year he's going to be? He's going to be more, more of a rant. More, more of a rant, so. <laughs> it did get a lot of headlines, and women are on the back burner at cons. Mm, I thought that was something. Well, because this is the year of being gay. Oh, last year was the year of being a woman. That's right. Their women were everywhere last year. This is the year of being gay. I mean, they took the opportunity to announce the first gay bookstore in Indonesia would be open this morning. I, I, I was, said was being opened. Oh, was? Was. Did it? I have my doubts because Muslims don't like gay people. Mm. And Will Smith slugged a reporter and for said, kissing him. Said so much for his support for gay rights. That See, went that, out, When he went wham, that ended up his support for gay rights. Was that, did they question him after he did his, his tax snafu? Was that, that what oh, it was? What happened was... <laughs> Okay, after the tax snafu, he fled, he fled France to go over to the Moscow debut. At the Moscow debut, they basically did the gay rights thing on him because he basically has supported gay <coughs> marriage and all of that. And then he basically doesn't really want gay people well, around him. You know, part of it is, can we just 
say, did something sound like a setup? Yeah, basically I mean, because they're basically it's called teach the American a lesson. I mean, oh. it's called you take your foot put in mouth. So he's that, that's a lot of times why the celebrities have people around them so people don't get close to him to do things like they that. They said what happened is he thinks he's Barack Obama, uh, mm -hmm. which means he's, he's channeling Barack Obama, who you do never you never let off a teleprompter. Um, Jackie Chan on again, off again. When it comes to being an actor. And his hero. press release. It said there Jackie Chan was proud to announce <laughs> that he was going back to the old Jackie Chan, you know, the the comedy, you know, that because there's no real violence. There, there there is movie violence and funny violence in his movie, but no one gets killed. No, no, no. It's just he all said in he fun. was he was going back to that because he thought there was too much violence. And then he hits them last night while I'm retiring. From the action movies for all this morning, he changed that. He changed it. Came out on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it came out on Facebook. I mean, I read that this morning. I said, "What the heck?" Well, see, part of it is since we had the information from the press material right beforehand, we kind of saw the changes. So we're sitting there wondering, does this mean that Jackie Chan has a movie? So it's coming out now. Well, no, I'm guessing the movie that he was supposed to be plugging, which was a sequel, I think, to Project A, is actually being greenlighted today. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that could make the changes. Also, um, we kind of have a feeling for this movie. It's called Beast of the Southern Wild. It is, uh, we shared <laughs> breakfast with them for like six days. That breakfast said that. and coffee and, <gasps> and anybody. Oh, you know what? They got anything, you know, I, you know, they basically were, they were really a nice bunch of people. They really got, they invited us to go to, with them to go eat in, in Salt Lake City, which is not close Pizza. to where Sundance is. It's in the middle at three o'clock in the morning, they also got so happy about doing stuff. They broke the elevator, and we had to go up and down the stairs. <laughs> so, um, but they were fun, they were fun people to be with. They until the snow hit. Oh. All they wanted to do was get out. Oh, it did not snow at Sundance. It was a George Lucas, Steven Spielberg special effect because, of course, all they wanted to do was to go. They home. wanted to leave like right then. Oh. So, so they're, they're filming. They're Film and screening at cons, yeah. right? So we're really excited about that. They're looking forward, of course, to crossing the fingers for Oscar. They're now. looking for an Oscar nomination this year, um, and they'll probably get it in, in a few categories, I would bet. You know, like, mm -hmm. uh, because basically it's being pushed by the San Francisco Film Foundation, I think. And the only, the only thing the movie lacks, I think, is gay people, ah. which is probably going to hurt them. So, and what else is happening in the cons daily world? Oh, um, basically, you got the. Uh, the quote of the day from um, the Lawless people. I think this is a guy from Lawless. Uh, be, uh, you know, John Hillcoat was the producer director. All that stuff. Um, yeah, I like this quote. It's a weird thing about films. It's almost like alchemy. You're playing around with all these ingredients, and sometimes there's a combination that finally comes together and actually works. <laughs> which means he'd had a lot of films where the people did not work well. So but, uh, it's basically the same people, um, the same people that were there yesterday are there today because they're there for the weekend. Mm -hmm. So that's our attendance thing. But um, let's see, uh, we go over. I got the get my oops the movies. The films. Uh, the films see, part, part of it is you. Can we tell them where they can find the information? Uh, you can find yeah. the information <laughs> over on. Um, uh, you go to www.festival. Uh, slash cons.com and they'll give you the information on the movies that are playing today mm -hmm. so um, uh, I can't you know so but uh, we got you know what oh we got one other thing actually we got a very important thing that she's going to put up in a second what is about that did you know oh actually this is really important today this is if you are actually there and you have a ticket to, you have a badge that allows you in the movies and you missed last night because you were at a party which I didn't know I said, were you unable to get to a movie in the official screenings? Don't worry. Our next day screenings give you a second chance. Pop into the, the Bosian Theater, the Brunel Theater, or the Sol de Solme Theater with your badge and catch up on the film you missed the previous night. That's good. Lawless was one of the movies that is playing today, and the second one is uh, mm. uh, Sol de Solme. So they know mm. that. Oh, and there are 45 mile an hour gusts today in, at Cannes. Oh, yeah, we got excited. We didn't even tell them about that. And then let's tell you about what's happening on some of the pavilions as well as some of the parties. Oh, Electrolux too. Oh yeah, Electrolux. Actually, they are at the, there's the Electrolux Agora Pavilion at the Mar Marsh to Film Pavilion area. 
and they brought in one, two, they have three chefs that are there. So if you stop in, maybe you could get a really good meal. Yeah. Um, or if you come down during the proper time. Also, let's see. Uh, the Cannes VIP room at the JW Marriott. This is 50 Boulevard de la Croissette. Um, this, they've been having lots of entertainment right here. I've got some pictures here of Ron Wood. They're with Cindy Lauper. So it sounds like they, my guest is are doing something daily over there as well as some of those pavilions. What were some of the other ones they said we could stop at any time? Uh, we can stop in uh, at the uh, the movie star. What was the movie star's pavilion? Mm -hmm. I think, and we can stop in at the uh, the pavilion for a uh, uh, location pavilion. Yeah. Actually, their lounge. Yeah. Actually, it's the star movie star's lounge. I think it was, and the location lounge is what they're calling them. So ah, so those are always good. Um, also tonight. Um, actually, by the time we, I don't know if it's been a film. It's basically midnight there. Okay, so I'm not even going to tell you about this because. Some of the stuff is more is more timely, so we're sending it out on Twitter as well as Facebook um, versus doing the recordings and then um, putting them up. So some of them are more timely and then um, putting them up. So some of them are more timely. But see, you have to pay attention to us in those places, too, because there's always something that's happening. Right? Until today and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to, to uh, www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com and at www.montybubbles.net, of which we're putting the larger materials up, which are basically the American, uh, because most of the films you're only interested in the American version of the things, because the press releases are in English. So they're, 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 they're the Cosmopolitan's production notes are already up, and tonight, Lawless's production notes will be up. So. Mm -hmm. So you can find them there. And then on Monty Bubbles on the Twitter, we're updating information on there as we find it, as well as the Facebook for Monty Bubbles Network. It um, feeds into some of those um, different things. And if you're on my personal one, um, you're linking into information as we know it. So people are tagged and it's showing up on their Facebook pages. <laughs>